We are ready to withdraw the motion. Now, Sir Chapman Kumar, sir. Till three and a half seconds. Number one, I appreciate and welcome the laudable objective of the bill, but focused at tribal welfare, as explained by Honourable Leader of the House, followed by Honourable Minister of Steel and Mines, while presenting the bill or justifying the bill. Objectives are quite laudable, <coughs> but arrangement should be be there on the lines of the bills. There is a serious mismatch. Please go in. Money going to state does not automatically mean going for the tribal area. Correct. And the bill itself should keep a concrete provision for that. <coughs> and in that direction, the bill needs to be improved. And second point, please. Please. And the second point, I also appreciate, rather stand encouraged by the concern about the labor working in the mines as expressed again by the Honorable Leader of the House. Because of the auction that arrangement is there, the mines which are operating presently, non-coal mines basically, coal for a separate arrangement is there, non-coal mines basically, the mines those are operating, they are, many of them will go to change their hands because of the auction process. In consistence with your concern for the labor, at least keep a provision in the bill and also in the coal mine bill that even after the change of hand, change of alerting, the workers working there should not change. Then all this sympathetic talk about labor will sound realistic without keeping, ensuring that is the product. Don't go on speaking. Like this. Because I have personal experience, I worked among the mine workers, I know what is what they are doing. Okay, and that's why much. select committee is required to make these improvements, not to scrap the bill. Yes. There are we discuss why four hours is required so this this we can okay. discuss more this detail this and then get it passed. But these improvements need to be made. Without that, this is just part of okay.